As you can imagine, we've had many a call and conversation in recent weeks with clients wanting to take money out of their investments and put it into a bank deposit account, where, of course, you can get a guaranteed return of 4 or 5% a year with, with no risk, which is a heck of a lot better than the, the 0% or less that most of our clients have suffered in the past 18 months or so in pretty much any supposedly medium risk or cautious or even medium to high risk portfolio that they have with us or, or with anyone else for that matter. And that rubbish 18 months has made the longer term picture look much worse too. I've been with you five years, many say, and only had growth of around two or two and a half percent a year. That's terrible. Now, my first question is always, do you need the money to spend in the next year or so? How much do you have in the bank or perhaps premium bonds now? Because our starting point when making recommendations is always leave a pretty big cash reserve in place so that you don't have to dip into your investments when they're down, as they now are. Because you've only actually lost money if you do cash in, otherwise it is just a paper loss. Then I'll remind or explain or bore you once again with the fact that returns from investments in stocks and shares always have and always will, based on years and years of evidence, do better than both bank deposits and inflation, just not in a straight line. And I'll tell you that if I don't try hard to stop you cashing in, you will curse me in a year or two when you will, hopefully, see what you might have missed. I certainly won't be cashing in my own investments. But you know what? When I have the same conversation so many times, often with the same people, it is tempting to take the easy option and say, fine, stick it all in the bank, which more often than not is where it would have been or came from in the first place. You'll worry less. You'll worry me less. Maybe we'll all be happier. Believe me, it is just as tempting for me as it must be for them. Or you, if you're one of them. In political terms, it, it's a vote winner. Although I might be losing a client, I'd have an easier life. But is it the right thing to do? I don't think so.